I've got a shout out. And I got a box of records for you from Shadow Man and from Attic Daddy. All right. <laughs> I got a nice uh, package here from Shadow Man and Attic Daddy. Comes all the way from Canada. So, um... I'm going to do a shout out to these guys. Right now, they've only got like, as of this video, 30 some odd subscribers. And these guys, you really need to check them out because they're always showing some really off the wall albums that I'm really digging. You know, I mean, we're talking about blues, uh, Rolling Stones, classic rock. Uh, and a lot of times they kind of go off of the you know, they go down the unbeaten path and picking out some really obscure stuff that you don't normally see. And of course, the dogs. Thank you. Thank you. So, anyway, without further ado, me and the dogs are going to go through this little package. Now, I've already opened it, and... Uh, I kind of know what's in there, but anyway, they sent me some really cool stuff right here. Uh, some CDs. There's the Jeff Healy Band, uh, Spin Doctors. Uh, what's this? Meatloaf. What's that? Bad Out of Hell Part Two, I think. Uh, Naughty by Nature. I'm not real familiar with that. Let me see what else we got here. Uh, Arrested Development. Okay. Uh, Midnight Oil. Let's see. Okay. George Benson. And Collective Soul. Okay. Some pretty cool little CDs right there. They sent all the way from Canada. Let's see what else we got here. We got some records. <clears throat> Not no particular order. Chuck Mangion, Children of Sanchez. Nice. Little jazzy thing there. Bad to the Bone. George Thorogood and the Destroyers. Some wow. good stuff here. Oh, now the big dogs barking. <laughs> and there goes the little dogs. Hey, Life on the Farm. Remember what, uh, uh, John Denver? Life on the Farm's kind of laid back. There's nothing an old country boy like me can't hack. You got to put up with a barking dog sometime. You know, it could be a deer, a raccoon, whatever out there. But anyway, here we go. George Thurgood. This is cool. I like that a lot. Some glass tiger. Oh, man. You know, I had those dudes. I had them shut up. I had them shut up before I started the video. They were doing this, and I went up there, and I had a nice talk with them. You know, but because the outside dog is starting to bark, there you go. Now they're all crazy. All right, come on, guys. So, anyway. Now, this is nice. This is uh, uh, the Guess Who Canned Wheat. This is a Canadian... Pressing, which is way cool. You know, Canadian band, Canadian pressing. Oh, this is great. I love this. This is one of my favorite Guess Who albums. Gino Vanelli. Powerful people. Man, that's quite a selection of stuff here. Grover Washington Jr. <clears throat> Greatest performances. Yeah, that picture. This is ought to be a cool record to listen to. Seals and Crofts. I don't know if I've got any Seals and Crofts. I know my wife, I think, may have had a, co a, a Seals and Crofts album, but I don't. Let's see. What's some of the songs on here? The Euphrates? Uh, Humming oh, Hummingbird's a good song. 
Yeah, this is cool. Oh, this is great. What's it, Sparks? Sparks. This is Kimono, my house. I, uh, <clears throat> I've seen Sparks. I've never really listened to them, so this is going to be a good, good thing to check out. Steve Harley and Cockney Rebel. This looks way cool. I don't know if this is kind of like 80s New Wave or Power Pop or Punk. Cockney Rebel. Great. I'm looking forward to listening to that. Let me see. The Stranglers. Dream Time. Not familiar with this, but hey, it's going to be something to listen to and check out. Man, this is some great stuff. The Stampeders. Sweet City Woman. Man, I haven't heard that song in, gosh, 40 years, 50 years. The Stampeders. Cool. And what's this? Oh, Piano Man. Billy Joel. I don't have any Billy Joel. None. Nada. So, this is my first Billy Joel. And, uh, I remember the song Piano Man from, good God, a, a bazillion years ago. Well, I take it back. I do have a Billy Joel album. I've got the, uh, uh, what was it, Attila? His, uh, kind of, uh, kind of a psychedelic album that he put out like in 1969 or 70 with the drummer. He was playing playing uh, beefed up Hammond organ and the other guy was playing drums. I think Billy Joe did the majority of the vocals. Attila. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I digress. So here we go. Billy Joe Piano Man. So I'll be listening to that. So anyway, nice little gift, a little package from Shadow Man and Attic Daddy. And, uh, man, like I said, check them out. Uh, yeah, and I know that they've recently got a new camera. Some of the older videos were, uh, they were all, all been good videos, but, uh, they were a little grainy or whatever, you know. But, uh, he's got a new camera. They're, wor they're working with it, trying to make uh, their videos look better. So, man, check him out. And uh, i got to thank you, Shadow Man and Attic Daddy. Thank you for that box of records and CDs. Yeah, I know. I'm a terrible uh, harmonica player, but uh, I did that in honor of Attic Daddy. So, uh, thank you guys. Peace and love, everybody. Oh, by the way... Uh, I've got another video coming up probably later this week. Uh, I went on a kind of a spree and uh, had a little bit of extra money. I sold some things. You know, we, we got the uh, the big COVID incentive checks or whatever the stuff is going out. So I went out and paid off some debts and uh, went and ordered online some stuff that I don't usually order because of the price. I'm usually cheap super cheap you know cheap as i can get but i thought while i had the chance i was going to invest in some uh uh these some of these are ogs most of them are reissues but uh look for that video coming up probably later this week so peace and love everybody bye